Assalamu alaikum. Today I will follow the Guided Lab 3.3 Amazon SageMaker Encoding Categorical Data. In this lab, you will encode categorical variables. You will use the OpenMable dataset from UC Irvine Machine Learning Repository. This dataset works well because it contains many categorical features. Objectives after completing this lab, you will be able to encode ordinal categorical data which means uh, the data has orders like uh, low, mid, high and we will also encode non-ordinal categorical data uh, which has no order in their uh, properties prerequisites yes we have this uh, duration is 30 minutes uh, approximately AWS service is not used in this lab yes and accessing the uh, AWS management console I have also started the lab in here a start lab panel opens which displays the lab status wait until you see the message lab status ready then continue uh, close the lab panel yes okay I have closed it at the top of these instructions choose AWS yes let's click it Okay, arrange AWS management console. Let's go on accessing a notebook instance. Let's access AWS uh, SageMaker, Amazon SageMaker. And from the Amazon SageMaker, we will go to notebook instances. Let's see. Notebook, notebook instances. We have our instance in here. Look for the my notebook, open the Jupyter Lab notebook instance. Uh, open Jupyter Lab, okay. Let's open the Jupyter Lab. Task to opening a notebook in your notebook instance. Uh, it wants us to open the 3.3 machine learning. Uh, well, let's wait a bit. Okay. And after opening that file, uh, we will follow the instructions in the notebook and we will complete the lab. After the completion, we shall end the lab. And uh, that's it. So, um, in here, I will choose the Conda Python 3. <coughs> lab 3.3 student notebook overview this lab does not continue the healthcare provider scenario instead you will work on with the data from automable data set in this lab you will encode ordinal categorical data encode non-ordinal categorical data about this data set this data set contains three types of entity entities the specification of an automable in terms of various characteristics it assigns ins insurance risk rating its normalized losses in the use compared to other cars yes um, okay uh, the second rating corresponds to the degree to which the automobile is riskier than its price in the case. Cars are initially assigned a risk factor symbol that's associated with its price. Then it's ri if it's riskier or less risky, the sample is adjusted by moving up or down with the scale. Actuations call this process symboling a value of plus 3 indicates that the car is risky, a value minus 3 indicates that the car is probably safe. The third car factor is the relative uh, average loss payment per insured vehicle year. This value is normalized for all cars with a particular size classification, two-door small, station wagons, 
sports or special specialty and others <coughs> it represents the average loss per car per year note several attributes in the database could be used as a class attribute attribute info information attribute range symboling is uh, my from minus three to plus three normalized losses continues from 65 to 258 and uh, fuel type diesel or guys gas uh, aspiration ctd turbo number of doors four or two body type hard top wagon sedan hatchback conventional drive wheels 4vd 3vd 3vd engine location front or rear wheel base continues from 66 86 to 120.9 length continues from uh, this range okay width is continues from this range height is from this range uh, curb weight engine type we have gosh dodge c v i watch of uh, some other things I don't really know this uh, number of si cylinders yes eight four five six three twelve two engine size continues from uh, sixty one two to one hundred twenty six fuel system one bb etc bore yes stroke compression ratio horsepower peak rpm city mpg highway mpg price is from 51 uh, 18 and 45,400 uh, yes data set attributions uh, this data set was obtained from DoAD and GraphC uh, in 2019 UCI machine learning repository is in here uh, it's linked in here uh, Ir Irvine CA uh, University of California School of Information and Computer Science step one is the importing and exploring the data as always uh, you will start by examining the data in the data set to get the most out of this lab Read the instructions and code before you run the cells. Take time to experiment. Start by importing the pandas package and setting some default display options. Okay, we import the pandas as PD. We set the max rows as 500, mass columns is 500, display width is uh, 1000. Let's see. Next, load the data set into Pandas data frame. The data doesn't contain a header, so you will define those columns names in a variable that's named column names to the attributes listed in the data set description. Okay. The URL is import 65 CV column name symboling. Yeah, these are the attributes that we have uh, just mentioned earlier. Read CSV URL, URL um, separator is comma separated values we have. Uh, names are column names, NA values header let's see okay first to see the number of rows instances and columns features you will uh, use shape okay let's see the number of columns and rows and we have 205 uh, samples and we have 25 attributes okay that's really good next examine the 
data by using head method. Let's see the fir first five uh, records. Okay, we have symbling and other uh, attributes in here. I guess uh, our target variable would be price. Generally, it's price in this kind of applications so there are 25 columns some of the columns have numerical values but many of them contain text let's say yes we have field type for example as a string or aspiration as a string these are all uh, strings uh, well, when we call the info method we also can see uh, the attributes which are strings uh, that are clear for example, the field type since is uh, object. Object means uh, generally string. Uh, it's a, a string data type. Aspiration is also. We shall need to uh, extract these uh, features into. Uh, we need to encode them to our machine to understand. So it's hard for our computer to process string data types we generally uh, encode these values into a categories so that it can easily be processed by our computers to make it easier to view the data set when you start encoding drop the columns that you want to use okay let's let's see the columns we have many columns um, since uh, we are going to, for example, uh, use these four attributes, we shall list those. Yes, we now have four columns. Let's and see the result. We have these. And <coughs> um, by looking at the data in here I would say that uh, number of cylinders is definitely ordinal data and also number of doors is ordinal and drive wheels I don't really know what drive wheels so and aspiration would be uh, non-ordinal I would say most of machine learning algorithms require inputs that are numerical values yeah computer understands uh, numerical values so that's why we need to encode these the number of cylinders and number of doors yes number of doors and number of cylinders uh, features have ordinal value yes i have just said that you could convert the values of these features into their numerical con counterparts yes however in uh, aspiration and drive wheels uh, yeah we can easily convert these co column into four is directly converted to integer four for example however in the aspiration and drive wheels we don't have ordinal value yeah we need to use uh, for example one hot encoding would be good I guess these features must be converted differently you will explore the ordinal features first yes let's go for the ordinal values first encoding ordinal features in this step you will use a mapper function to convert the ordinal features into ordered numerical values by start by getting the column types from the data frame yeah uh, using a mapper function is straightforward to encode this kind of data and first determine what values the ordinal col columns contain um, yes starting the with the number of doors feature you can use value counts yeah this is a really good function to discover the values let's see the value counts we have four and two so this feature has two values only four or two and can uh, 
construct a simpler method that contains a dictionary yeah we can just use this mapper simply uh, you can then use the replace method from pandas to generate a numerical column based on the number of doors column now let's use that as in, in here when you display data frame you should see the new columns on the right it contains a numerical representation of the number of doors let's see that as well <coughs> well um, we have the no doors in integer data type uh, actually it's whole float but it doesn't really matter uh, since we convert it into a numerical value that's the our main goal it doesn't mean that uh, it doesn't really matter integer or float we will uh, repeat the process with the number of cylinders column let's first get the number of values value accounts we have four six five eight two three twelve and we will use uh, two three four five six and eight and twelve to construct a cylinder mapper let's do that then apply the mapper into the database data frame i mean let's see we have converted successfully the values into its corresponding uh, integer for more information about replace method it uh, sh suggests us to check out this pandas.dataframe.replace in the pandas documentation we can also view this in here uh, i guess i have previously uh, looked at it so i'm skipping that and I want to add a line in here to see the values. Uh, I mean, information of the uh, new values. Uh, as you can see, the doors is now float 64, and cylinders has integer 64. And and we have uh, all these values so let's continue with the encoding non-ordinal categorical data in this step we will uh, encode non-ordinal data by using the get dummies me method from pandas the two remaining features are non -or not ordinal yes expression and drive wheels are not ordinal according to the attribute description the following values are possible you might think that the correct strategy is to convert these values into numerical values for example consider drive wheels pressure you could use for vd as one uh, pvd is two and rvd is three however pvd isn't less than rvd these values don't have an order but you just introduced an order to them by assigning these numerical values yes in this way the machine learning algorithm might think that the rvd is more important than pvd for example uh, and that might be a bad uh, for our machine learning model to learn them <coughs> that they don't have any hierarchy so the correct strategy is to co convert these values into binary features for each value in the original feature. This process is often called one-hot encoding, as I mentioned before, in machine learning or dummying in statistics. I didn't know the dummying term in statistics. I uh, know the one-hot and it's also called dummying, I guess. Uh, Pandas provides a get dummies method which converts the data into binary features for more information see 
pandas get dummies in the pandas documentation okay uh, according to the attribute description drivers has three possible values let's see if the it does have indeed three values yes it does and we shall use the get dummies method to uh, introduce a new binary features to our data frame let's see that as well and let's see the values as we in the here we have false or true values uh, for the uh, drive list when you examine the data set uh, you should see three new columns on the right drive is ovd pvd rvd the encoding was straightforward if the values in the date drive wheels column is for vd then a1 and the value in the drive for vd column a0 is the value for the other columns that are generated if the value in the drive wheels column is vd then it's a1 and the value in the drive wheels vd is column and so on so it, it means that since uh, for for example in this row we have uh, drive wheels as uh, let me uh, it add an a another uh, method in here so in here Oh uh, yeah, it's already converted it. So I use I need to use this one, I guess. Yeah, in here, as you can see, uh, in the f first r uh, record, we have R V D. So if we check that, in the first row, R V D is set to true, and others are false. Which means this one is, for example, one, and these are zero. And this is what why it is called one hot encoding the number you have the property you have is encoded as one and others are zero so that's one hot so okay we have uh, talked about this these binary features enable you to express the in expressing information in a numerical way without implying any order Examine the final column that you en uh, will encode. Yes, we will finally encode the aspiration. So uh, the in the aspiration column has only two values, std and turbo. You can encode this column into two binary features. However, you could also ignore the std value and uh, record whether it's turbo or not. To do this, yeah, this is very uh, logical. Uh, that way, you don't need to uh, keep track of uh, two columns. To do this, you will uh, still use get dummies method by specifying drop list as true. Drop first, I mean, drop first is true. So, okay, let's see let's get the value counts in here we have std and turbo and after that uh, we will use the get dummies but uh, for this time we have drop first as true let's see that uh, and in here here we have we just have the aspiration turbo and force or true uh, challenge task go back to the beginning of this lab and add other columns to the data set how would you encode the values for each column? Update the code to introduce, include some of the other features. It says you have completed this lab. You can now end the lab by following the lab guide instructions. Okay, so that's it for this lab, I guess. Uh, thank you for listening to me.